let's now concentrate on our front frame I'm gonna hit P for project and select this face left click so we're going to project this edge this arc and this edge I'm gonna hit OK Next, I'm going to hit S to grab our sketch toolbox and type in EXT and grab our extrude tool. I'm going to make sure that the profile chain selection is unchecked. I'm going to select this edge, this edge, and this edge. For the spacing, make sure it's uniform and for the faces, it's 8. Now for the distance, I'm going to go to right view. Let's type in negative 51. So take note of my settings. And finally, hit OK. I'm going to go to right view. And let's add tension on these edges. Going to box mode, same here. Alt 1. Double left click this edge, right click, select edit form, and move this one to the right. Hitting OK. Next, double click this ring, right click and insert edge, and moving this one here. Next, let's add symmetry. Selecting symmetry, selecting this face and this face, and hitting OK. Now, our next intent is to bridge the gap here. So, before that, we're going to delete this face. Control left click, control left click, and control left click to make sure hitting delete. Now, the bridge requires equal sides. So, one, two, and three. While this one is one, two, three, and four. So, we need to add an additional edge. I'm going to go to right view and select this line and this edge. Right click and select insert edge, moving our slider up, aligning it here and hitting OK. Next, I'm going to hit S for our sculpt toolbox and type BR and select bridge. Now side 1 active, selecting this edge, this edge, 3 and 4. Left clicking side 2 to activate, 1, 2, 3 and 4. Now for the faces 2, you may check preview and finally hit OK. So we are given a warning. So notice these dark lines. This means that the edges are not yet connected. Now to connect them, now let's turn off the visibility of our canvas. I'm going to rotate and go to symmetry and select clear symmetry. So selecting this the spline body and hitting OK. Now zooming in, I'm going to hit S to grab our sculpt toolbox, typing M E R and selecting merge edge for edge group 1, selecting this edge, left clicking edge group 2 to activate, selecting this edge, hitting OK. So now it is connected. Right click and select repeat merge. Left click here and left click this one to activate. Left click, hitting OK. So possibly same here. Right click, repeat merge edge. Left click, left click here and left click here. Selecting, reselecting this one. Left click, hitting OK. Right click, repeat merge edge selecting edge group one left click here to activate selecting this one hitting ok right click repeat merge edge selecting this line 
this edge, selecting edge group 2 to activate, left click, left click, and hit OK. So inspecting our model, going to smooth mode. So model looks good. I'm going to head to symmetry once more, selecting this face and this face to bring back our symmetry. Hitting OK. So now let's patch this top area. I'm going to hit S to grab our sculpt toolbox, typing BR and selecting bridge. Now for side one, I'm going to go to box mode first, selecting this edge, this edge, this edge, and this edge. Next, activating side two, selecting this edge, this edge, this edge, and this edge. Now for the faces, I'm going to input two. So take note of my settings and hit OK. Now zooming in. We have a thick edge, meaning this one is not yet merged. So I'm going to hit S once more to grab our Sculpt Toolbox, typing M, E, R, and grabbing Merge Edge. Now for Edge Group 1, left click here and left click here. Activating Edge Group 2, left click and left click and hitting OK. So edges now merged. 